Joined now by Karen Moore with the manager Karen Donnan and Karen first congratulations a big win over Giltomer but more importantly qualification for the Intermediate Championship semi-finals. Yeah thanks a million yeah it was, uh, it was a tough game actually the scoreline the score doesn't reflect the, the intensity of the game and the excellence of Giltomer they were really really good but we were very very lucky in the end and we were delighted to get through to the semi-final. You mentioned the excellence of Giltomer and they had improved I'd seen them the first day myself and at the start of the game it was a very competitive first half Giltomer missed an awful lot of chances too and put your team under a lot of pressure. Yeah absolutely yeah it was just to be fair I think they've improved massively this year you know they've improved even massively since the Haskell game and we were under real pressure there for about 10 minutes of the first half and we were just lucky to get a couple of goals towards the end of the first half that killed the game for us and then the second half we kind of pulled away but Absolutely massive credit to Tom, they were very, very good today. He would have come into this game as raging hot favourites based on the results in round one and the fact that you'd beaten Mount Bellion my law as well. But as you said there too, you were under pressure. But before half time, three goals, I think Ashley Kelly got two of them, Nee Fox another as well. Suddenly there was daylight between the teams. Yeah, yeah, we we got a couple of good goals and they came in quick succession and that can really demoralise a team. Um, so we were lucky enough in that respect that they came on the right side for us. Like we have goals for us, but we have good scorers and we have players that can create space for others and you know we're trying to bring that all in, into into our play some of it came came about today some of it didn't but hopefully we get it right for that next stage you know it bodes well for the knockout series he's still have a game against our Hasker Calcutta to come as well but of course you've beaten last year's runners up on Bally my lock you've now secured your semi-final spot so you'd be very confident for the year yeah we, we were confident at the start and uh, we were confident for the league and then we went out against Crawford and it just didn't work for us so we're, we're using uh, that as a platform really to do as well as we can in the championship. Like the other four teams in the semi-finals, we'll be looking to win it. Um, but hopefully we get the rub the green and we can go all the way this year. Haskell Calcio will say the same thing. But it'll be great to have a go up against each other before you get down to the actual do or die matches. Yeah, Haskell Calcio are an excellent team. Uh, like we, we played them in the league and the scoreline again didn't reflect the quality of their squad. Uh, they definitely be, I think they're the favourites in the championship. Uh, and uh, we look to uh, keep them in the end of the league and hopefully we can get I think Old Higgins said you're the favourites as well, but we'll see what happens when you need. <laughs> Congratulations, it went 7 14 to 2 5, a massive result. Karen Moore into the final four. Thanks a million, Darren. Fair vision.